option, at least compared to some of those Pango patches, which you could sacrifice it more. Still, this is going to be one of those games where, you know, game, if you pick this Pango third, you know it's going to have a rough lane. It's going to have a counter pick. You're just making it elsewhere on the side lanes and going to let Quinn come back off of some team fighting. It. Oh, we got him with yeah. the side blades! <laughs> In, in extra support in that top lane to kind of like push back against the Razor aggression. But it frees up supports elsewhere. It means that Game of Gladiators may have an advantage. Oh, it's bumped over to the other side of this clip area here. Nisha could be hit a couple more times perhaps. Quinn is going to go for the support kill instead. Lining it up on the Rubik. Duraccio joining in on this fight. Still not quite enough with the swashbuckle to finish him off thanks to that Arcane Rune. As Arcane Rune's doing mad work. Did not get the shield rune though. Side coming through the side. Gets the vacuum onto a lot of heroes with the Ion Shells, but he he did come into this fight half health. Look at Mike. He has tree dance his way all the way across the map to join in this engagement. Should have carried the game. Uh, not a bad idea if you're gonna pick a player in the world to try and carry you. I think it's, uh, they're just trying to keep Duraccio in this wall. It might actually work here. The charge is gonna come through, and that's enough. Dyer's All right, Avery, if somebody calls GG right now, it'll be the shortest game of the tournament. It will also be the biggest inquiry we've ever seen in Dota. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a TA trap on the high ground is going to be able to spot Celery as well. He's going to get a tombstone out on the high ground. They are not going to be able to save that on dying. Nisha's going to take some damage in the turn around. And, and the Monkey King is here as well. They're going for the kill on Taraji, and they have him as well. Damn. Liquid once again coming off of a laning phase and immediately start getting some wins. It's a Huge pickup for them. Second death on this morphling in a game where you didn't really expect them to die. And six charges on that death. So already for Nisha uh -oh. walks into a Nisha through. Ace, you gotta be careful. Oh, they're gonna go for Tofu instead. Tofu can't get the taser off in time to protect himself. And they came in the physical damage and they're yeah, they right careful now. of this. Haste it up to get a disarm onto the Templar Assassin. But there's too many other heroes of Liquid here. Okay, Foxy sacrifices. This one. They get off the Rolling Thunder all game long because he's also going Heaven's Halberd. Stolen Charge gonna commit onto the darks here. Turn around. Turn around. Can't even get off a vacuum there and Mickey gets off the Wukong's command with nobody inside of it. Now he's stuck here, and Liquid are being corralled around. Meld hit. That's a lot with the monkeys. Oh, it is a lot with the Boundless Strike landing as well. The telekinesis is going to allow Mickey to be able to get into the trees. Nisha has refraction, so he should be kind of fine here. Or maybe not. Celery, they're going to keep chasing after him. Nisha into the trees, turns around. Oh, that was going to be a bit of a whip there. And Tofu. On the Razor. This item goes both ways, but generally it's a, it's a bit more defensive to finish it. And Hur Hurricane Pike. They're going to try and burst into the Pango. They got him. The Taser could not save him. The BKB helping Nisha able to clear through that uh, debuff Duraccio. What he may not expect is a Monkey King in the trees who's going to jump onto Nisha. 35 seconds left on that Aegis, so... Didn't get the blink. Nisha, he's probably going to die here, but his team needs to get to hell. Oh, here's the Insania. Great saves. Mickey found the strike, but the Aegis does go down, and Quinn's going to line it up now. They know no BKB for some of these heroes for this fight. This Templar Assassin is dead, and there's nothing like But Tarachi is already scouting them out. They're looking for these heroes. They want to catch these two while they're alone. Bounce them into the wall. Boxy does that much for them. Mickey is going to jump in desperately. He's got the nullifier on the Aegis, trying to focus him. He's getting away from that static link, though. Meanwhile, Quinn's going to die to the damage of the Templar Assassin, who TP back here. Meanwhile, Insania tossing away Tofu. Box is gonna help him out with that one. He does have some mines to be able to lay down here. Ace chasing after Mickey. Mickey gonna be stuck. Bound the strike onto two. Can he jump into the trees? Game of Gladiators not gonna Nisha pursue this. They know they have to be scared of Nisha, who's coming in. Vacuum back in onto the two of them with the charge on top of that one. Lining up things nicely. They finish off Ace. Now they chase for more. Mickey wants as much as possible out of this one. Oh, nice around, stops the TP away from Tofu. The collect the undying support as well both of these supports will go he's outranging a tower radiant is this tower has fallen it's balanced he's almost level 25 too this is a huge talent to hit the refraction charges are good this game right what is breaking it another back into the stun into the harpoon harpoon pulling back in Durachu has to use the waveform to jump away while ace jumped into the fight the wukong's command is going to force both them backwards but the spirit oh, that charge. back into the now the normal punch boom 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 and Duraccio dies again. He cannot stop these chain stunts. And once again, Celery diving out. Control, after. and you don't have BKBs on gaming. You still don't have them, so you can't stand your ground. He keeps on fighting the opening here. 
The buyback now from Durachu. This must pay out some dividends, but Durachu immediately has you. Oh, and he got back. He just can't run, run man. Back in, he's dead again. A dieback for Durachu. Liquid have halted the Durachu aggression that they will let nobody leave. Ace struggling to get back to his fountain liquid team. Last team fight, you don't have your morphling for it. You don't have a tombstone, and you might not have a razor. Oh, as... Back in with a backing charge. Beautiful setup. Ace. He cannot get out of the Wukong's man this time because it's a level 25 Monkey King. The extra big range allows them to be able to zone out Game of Gladiators. A buyback on Ace. They're sticking on to make it. Hit him on four. Staff turns around and looks like the damage is overwhelming. He may have stolen the damage away from Mickey, but there's still the Templar Assassin. The shot's coming in. Ace, nowhere to run to and nowhere to hide. Team Liquid will even out the series and give themselves a chance at redemption against Game of Gladiators. Ooh, this is going to be a spicy Liquid game three right here because you know Liquid, they have some confidence right now. They have some momentum. They've been looking for the wins against this team.